Welcome aboard, sailing friends. Brent Boland here, and today I'm thrilled to introduce you to my newest listing. This 2013 Lagoon 421 named Hoku. So as you can tell, I'm back in one of my favorite places and uh, so excited to share with you this boat. You know where my favorite place is. I love Brunswick Landing Marina. It's one of the top marinas in the country and just such an amazing cruising and sailing community there. If you haven't ever been, please be sure to check it out on your next cruise uh, near uh, Brunswick, Georgia, just north of Jacksonville, Florida, or just south of Savannah, Georgia. Worth the stop. All right, so if you're looking for well-maintained, cruise-ready sailing catamaran with all the comforts and upgrades for an extended adventure, you are in for a treat with Hoku. But before we jump in too much, I just want to give a pleasant little reminder to everyone. If you will, please subscribe to Great Loop Yacht Sales YouTube channel, like this video, and then finally, don't forget in the description below the video, there's a link to the full listing with all the details plus pricing. So just make sure you check out the description of the video um, below the video. So, all right, let's jump in. So starting with the exterior, Hoku boasts a sleek and spacious design, perfect for both relaxation and performance. With upgraded solar panels of 2,000 watts, lithium batteries, this catamaran is set up for off-grid living, not to mention also the water maker. All right? You'll enjoy the serenity of the open water without sacrificing any modern conveniences. Listen, we got 12-volt air conditioning. That's a modern convenience out on the water with no generator. How cool is that? The new 120 square meter asymmetrical sail and auto prop propellers provide excellent speed and efficiency whether you're sailing or motoring. The cockpit on the back of this boat is awesome, designed for comfort, easy to move, maneuver around. You'll find everything you need. Perfect place to entertain a huge party or just simply relax with a view of the horizon on long passages. Moving inside, the salon welcomes you with absolutely gorgeous, they're so pretty guys, newly installed flooring and obviously a comfortable seating area in there. This is the owner's version layout, features a luxurious owner's suite in one of the holes. It's actually on the port side hole, which I think is, is kind of cool. And then on the other hole, you've got two additional rooms, right? The current owners have one of the bathrooms set up as more of a utility closet. You'll see later in the video, uh, laundry room uh, in, in that um, third um, head, I guess, if you will. But there's still three. Uh, the boat is set up for three heads, three staterooms, owner's version. All right, you'll see more. But, you know, by having that separation between the two holes, it's perfect for guests um, or hosting a big family or friends. Seeing it, this boat is really like a floating condo. It is so massive. So much great storage too. The well-equipped galley includes, you know, refrigerator, freezer, plenty of storage space. So if you're just getting a snack or you're preparing a gourmet meal, the galley's ready for you and its layout and all the windows and amenities make it a joy to cook in. At the helm, You'll find state-of-the-art navigation equipment from Garmin, chart plotter, AIS, radar. Um, the helm is set up to make sure that you have all the information and tools you need for safe and efficient navigation. All right, and again, I got to hit on this again because it's one of my favorite things. Hoku is designed for comfort with features like that 12-volt Mayru 12,000 BTU AC in the salon, right? Um, custom mattresses in the cabins. Freshwater deck wash, water maker, LED water purifier. I mean, um, the list goes on and on. Great tender with a Suzuki 20 horsepower outboard motor. You're ready to go to shore, take the pets to shore. Yanmar engines have been, wait till you see how clean the engines are. Wait till you see the battery compartments. Check out the listing for all the details. This is one clean, really well-maintained, regularly serviced vessel uh, that you won't be disappointed. So come take a look, set up an appointment with me, and let's go get uh, aboard this boat. So 
really excited uh, to show you this boat. And so let me, uh, after kind of doing my intro kickoff, let's get into the video. Look at how clean this storage area is on that hole. I'm telling you. Um, and so much storage. So uh, we're out on the bow, on the trampolines. What a great space. If you've ever had the opportunity to go to the islands in one of these sailing catamarans, there is nothing better than hanging out in the Caribbean on a sailing cat. I mean, maybe there is something better. Put it in the comments if you know something better. Got an awesome bridle system here, a Manus bridle with the chain lock as well. Um, you can see there, uh, great anchor aboard this boat. 64 foot, 9 inches, I believe, is the mast height uh, on this vessel. Um, and uh, rigging was done not long ago. Actually, speaking of that, let me go through kind of a, a repair log that I took some notes on as you guys are watching. Um, but I just think some of the stuff is important uh, for you to hear and know about. So let me um, just kind of read through it. And it's going to go back all the way to 2018, okay? So they've got quite a bit of upgrades. And I just think it's cool. So in 2018, the tender was added with the Suzuki 20 horsepower. All the Garmin gear was done, the radar, the AIS, all that was 2018. All right, so lithium batteries was 2018, okay? Um, L, um, solar panels, 2018. Victron solar controllers, 2018. Um, there's an Iridium Go satellite communication system on the boat was done in 2018. There's also a cell phone booster, a WeBoost cell phone booster done in 2018. EPIRBS, 2018. Um, jumping to 19, and this is just kind of a, I'm not hitting everything, but some of them. Uh, one of the Harkin winches uh, was redone in 2019. That's when, yeah, 2019 was when the water purifier was added. Um, I'm sorry for the desk squeaking there, but uh, fresh water deck wash was added in 2020. Um, mattresses were done in 2020. Uh, fresh water flush in the owner's suite for the toilet in 2020. Um, there's some really cool lights, um, kind of like a little security system outside that was done in 2020. Uh, the furling system, um, was done, uh, in 2020. The ACE symmetrical sail I mentioned earlier, 2021, um, you got a couple different inverters on the boat done in 2021. Water makers, 2021, a new four person life raft was added in July of 2021. Um, engines, you know, were fully gone through in 2021. Um, new VHF antenna, 2021. Um, you know, new mainsail, October of 2021. Okay. There is new um, lithium batteries now, 1140 amp hours of big battery marine cell lithium. And then... Uh, more solar panels in 2021, 520 watts. Uh, the Dometic refrigerator and freezer, which does come with the boat, was purchased. You'll see that um, in the uh, storage area in the cockpit. 12-volt AC was added in 2021 in the salon. Uh, all the winches were serviced in 2021. Um, the uh, spin lock power clutch at the helm was replaced. The main halyard line was replaced in 2021. New rigging um, was done in 2022. Okay, so that's like the 10-year deal. Um, new refrigerator in 2022. Uh, new deep freeze in 2022. So uh, just uh, sail drives were serviced in 2023 and new seals were installed. Um, just... Uh, they tuned the rigging in 2023 as well. Um, let's see what else. We got a new uh, windlass in 2023. The bottom was painted in 2024, so just in January of this year. Um, new engine start battery for the starboard engine. Engine mounts were replaced in April of this year. Um, and then, of course, a full service on the engines. Um, and the bottom clean is cleaned and, and the props, uh, and, and zinc installs are just on a regular monthly basis. So it really is a meticulously maintained boat. So I know I just read through a whole list of, of upgrades there. There's just so much going on with this boat, but hopefully you're enjoying going through, um, 
you know, the walk through here. So this is uh, an area, it used to be a TV on the wall and some, uh, like a sofa there. They kind of opened it up for some storage. You could easily design a desk or something to go in that area. So it's just kind of a custom piece, but it does look great. Um, gives you a little more space down here, but we're kind of leaving that area open for you to decide. But man, this owner's um, hole is just neat. I really do um, love it. These countertops are really nice. Um, the flooring matches just absolutely perfect with what was put in new in the salon to what is down here. I just think that is super cool. Obviously, the shower here in the end. Um, and just look at how clean this boat is, y'all. Um, this is a boat that's been sailed extensively, but it's also been really well cared for, right? Um, and storage galore. Um, you know, Lagoon builds a phenomenal boat to go hang out in the Caribbean, enjoy the breeze, sail from island to island, eat amazing food, fish, dive, snorkel, swim, just enjoy it. So uh, Salon's just, just so nice. So um, really is uh, a cool area. Um, and there's the WeBoost, uh, satellite booster, Victron controller, a uh, couple other things going on uh, in that cabinet. But just uh, good storage. Here's some electrical uh, panel here um, with controllers as well. And uh, inverters, etc. Just a really, really neat deal. So, And then here we are on the guest quarters, right? So we're going to head, uh, I believe, forward here first. And... Go through, we've got a uh, head right here on our right, which we'll come back to. But it's pretty cool. The shower is all the way forward. Uh, so you got some separation. So one person could be in that head using the bathroom while the other person's showering. It's nice to kind of have that separation. Uh, nice big bed here. Um, and uh, just terrific, terrific boat. Super, super clean. Um, good space and, and storage and uh, it's like living on a condo, but you can go cruise in the Caribbean and live off the grid, you know, which is really nice. So we'll take a little quick, quick peek in the uh, head area here, um, which is really, really nice as well. So let's see, what else do you want to know about this boat? I want to get to this aft. Um, actually, I think we're going, yeah, we're going aft here. The aft guest stateroom, another just great room, but this one does have the another ensuite head, and the owners of this boat have converted it into a kind of workshop slash laundry room, just for some extra storage. They did take the toilet out. You know, if you want to put a toilet back in, they would recommend a composting toilet, um, but the shower's here. They have a washing machine in here, so you can uh, get some salt out of your clothes and then hang it up outside to dry. Um, but they use it for a lot of port, part storage, and that just worked for them. But could be taken back. But just a couple customizations that would be a little unfamiliar to most others. Um, but this boat is set up to, to rock and roll, and they were a cruising couple. And they've spent a lot of time, multiple times to the Bahamas, up and down the East Coast, Chesapeake Bay, you name it, over the last several years uh, as they've been aboard. Um, so... Thank you uh, so much for checking out Hoku with me. And here we are, the sun's starting to set in Brunswick. It's absolutely beautiful. Give me a call. Would love to set up a showing of this gorgeous boat with you. Hope you enjoyed the video. A little different than normal, but uh, like uh, and subscribe if you will. And uh, keep the feedback coming. I'm trying to get better and better at this. Thanks a bunch. Have a great day.